<sighs> okay, so where do I even begin? This freaking town, man, we haven't been here in a while and it's a big boy, so I guess fucking talk to people, I guess. The view of the white buildings from the blue season, huh? It's only ruining the atmosphere. What an amazing bridge. You'd love to see the bridge in motion. What's her name? Hedio. Mayoral candidate Norman, please. Vote for Norman. Norman for mayor. Great. We have election fucking callers out here just yelping away. Woot. Norman's a great vibe, but has can't serve the campaign platform. Rue on it. In Terra's in town, it's a town for sailors and fishers. I wish people would get that. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we'll go to the shop first, because it's right here. I don't know. I don't want to get lost. I do have a map, so. Two bracers together. Karna's not here right now. Yeah, she's a little busy. She's a little preoccupado. Ooh, already a better weapon. Right off the bat, huh? Interesting. Uh, not a better weapon for him, though. Interesting. Huh. And some fiber vest. I think I already have one of these. Apparently I don't have it equipped right now, but I have one. Same goes for the shoes. I don't know why these aren't equipped. It's weird. Uh, prevents poison. So I have one of these. Not equipped. I wonder if I should buy an extra one for Agate. Prevents seal, prevents faint. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and buy an extra. I mean, after remembering kind of how the first game went, I very much didn't, like, overly stock up on things, you know? Oh, Agate has these equips. Oh, because she has... Um, you didn't really need to fucking say that, Tara. You can go ahead and shut the fuck up. You know I'll figure these things out when I actually, I don't know, play the game. Uh, oh, these are those night vision goggles. I don't want those on right now. So, I guess I am going to buy the equipment. Because Agate has it equipped already. That makes sense. Uh, fiber vest. Yeah, do that. Is it Agate or is it Agate as in the stone? You know, I don't know. I've been calling him Agate pretty much since the first game. I don't think I ever really called him Agate, but it probably is Agate like the stone, if I had to guess. I don't know. I just like calling him Agate. It's better than calling him Agate. I don't like saying the word Agate, really. Or starting to say it like Agate. Agate sounds stupid, too. Agate just sounds the best way to pronounce it, in my opinion. Very Japanese way to pronounce it, exactly. I wonder what meaning names people have, many people I am myself, and yet why must we use words to create another self, I wonder? I don't know. Why, why must we? Let's get philosophical, girl. Also, yo, I see that ripple over there. Who wants to go fishing? Sounds too much like maggot, amongst other words. Surely, DJ, surely. Alright, how do I fish? Forgot how to do it. Can I... Uh... Uh... Maybe I can't fish yet without actually going... Without actually going to talk to the fisher guy, maybe? Maybe. You actually prefer the way I say it, Dante Sparta? That's cool. Also, welcome to the stream. I don't know if I saw you pop in the chat earlier, but welcome. How you doing today? Wait, okay, okay, okay. I started over here where the, where the weapon shop was at. Let's not get lost here. I wanna, I'm going to check everywhere at least the first time we're here, even if I don't come back and talk to everybody again later. It's been a while since Mama was home all day. My brother Jerome's school's going right soon. 
Cosmo Torgus tour guides. During the election, there have been many tourists. There haven't been many tourists. Okay. Right. Okay. Really, the election campaigners are so loud. How's my son supposed to study like this? I don't know. Fucking give him some headphones, put on his iPod or his fucking. put on some Spotify, let him zone out. My dream is to be part of the crew for an airship. If I can join the Royal Academy's Natural Science course, I'll be one step closer. One step closer to the dream. And he's about to cream. That's a remix I'd, I'd, I'd be in for. Okay, that's where I was trying to go fishing. Let's see what's in here. Uh, the Orbal Factory, of course. Very important stuff. How do you Normans feel? Blah, blah, blah. Speaking of ordments, I didn't check uh, Agate's ordments yet. I'll have to do that. Do I have enough to upgrade? I do. I'm probably going to stick with the Stell's upgrades first. She's our main character. She my main main, you know what I'm saying? Actually, the Japanese pronunciation of Agate is similar to mine. I mean, I imagine it is. I'm saying it in a very white person way, a very English, you know, speaking way. I'm sure it's more like, Agate, like that. But I don't, you know, I don't speak with a Japanese accent, so that's just how it comes out of my mouth. Um, I guess I'll just go down the line? I don't know. I can pretty much upgrade any of them except for the bottom one here and the third one here. Um... Basically, the two endpoints I can't upgrade yet. I'll just, I'll just go straight down the line. I don't have any reason to go out of order. I don't know if there's any. I don't know if I should even be doing this actually, because I don't even know if I have another quartz to put in these slots that's upgraded. That's like that I need it for yet. I probably don't. I don't have any more. In, I don't have this one. I thought I had this one already. I think I was able to get this one, but I didn't have enough wind um, stuff. It's actually a gato. Oh. Okay. A gato. A gato. Close enough. Again, I'm gonna stick with a gate. Very Japanese pronunciation of it. I know. I did it throughout the previous game. I'm not gonna change my ways now. Anybody who's watched me play any game with where I have to read dialogue and figure out how to pronounce things myself, whatever way I pick in the beginning is usually how I end up saying it for the entire playthrough. Hello to the people who watch me play Metal Gear Solid and hate that I call them Ocelot. <laughs> oh, that was a good time to piss everyone off. Ah, good times. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, it seems like these old guys are yelling really loud. When I asked Mama, she said it was an election. I'm really uh -huh, promotional campaign during the election. Just gonna have to put up with it, man. The elections always suck. Make sure to go to the voting site on voting day. But what if they both suck? You died inside for all that on MGS1, but by the time we were in MGS3, it just felt right. But yeah, see what I mean? You're just gonna have to get over it. When I find when I find out how to pronounce when I pick a way to pronounce something, even if it's incorrect and I know it's incorrect, I will do it just to piss people off. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to live with it when it happens. So Agate is his name. The end. <laughs> Alright, somebody I needed to pick, uh, to meet up with for one of the quests was here, right? This is the one for the photo. I said they were in one of the rooms here, right? Same as always. Oh, here's Norman. Yo, I don't know how he's so afraid of, but he locked himself in his room. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Me complaining won't change anything. Ultimately, it's my son's problem to deal with. Let us return to talking about work. Okay. So we have to decide the cipher speech. Yes, we're thinking of Langland Bridge for our first candidates. Heavily trapped location, so I'm sure we'll be a fair number of listeners. Okay. Can't wait to do some voice acting on a fucking political fucking election speech when that happens eventually. It'll be t good times. <sighs> All right. I don't even 
gonna talk to you right now. Are you the photograph? Excuse me, can we have a moment? Sure, what's going on? You wouldn't have to be Santos, would you? We saw your request on the board. Oh, your bracers. Phew! Finally, I was getting worried. If you're free, I'd like you to get right down to business. Let's get down to business about this photo you need. Yep, we're good to go. So what's the job? Okay, here's what I need. I want you to take a photograph of something in Saffron Tower, and that's something specifically on the roof of the tower. Saffron Tower, huh? That old ruin just off of Ari and Causeway, right? Bingo! Figured out you'd know about it. What do you want a photo of the tower for? Is it for an editorial, maybe? No, 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 not at all. I was dispatched by, by the History Museum in the capital. This task is, is for research purposes. Ah, gotcha. It's an academic investigation. Bingo again! I'll admit this isn't exactly our run-of-the-mill research, though. Run-of-the-mill? Let's worry about that later. Like you need to know what an idiom is right now. First, let's go over the details of the job. Uh, oops, uh, sorry, got a bit sidetracked. <laughs> How much have I said so far? You want us to climb to the top of the tower and photograph something. We just need to know what that something is. Oh, oh, so there are these mysterious objects on the roof of the towers. We know they're ancient artifacts of some kind, but because but outside of that, we got nothing. Without much else going on, or without much else to go on, the only thing we researchers conclude is that they are devices of some kind. Actually, I might have an idea of what you're talking about. They look like weird pedestals, right? Oh, you know about them? Bingo, bingo, bango, bongo! They look exactly like pedestals. Huh, cool, then yeah, I've seen them around before. I don't think they work anymore, though. Actually, about that. They might not might be in line. That not be entirely true. Huh? The device on Saffiral Tower. Saffiral Tower? I don't know. I feel like I called it Saffiral Tower last time, and now I'm calling it Saffiral. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Anyway, it's been reported it activated. See, I knew these things were going to be activated now. What? It's actually working? The museum has received a report about that from a very reliable source. I doubt they were mistaken. Huh. Interesting. So that's why you wanted us to check this out so quickly. Exactly. Anyway, we need to record the current state of the device. Talk about spooky. Yeah, probably a good idea to look into it. Is the device dangerous? We don't suspect it poses any danger for now, but you never know. Can't say for sure anything could happen, so be careful. Of course, I got no intentions of letting my guard down. Just to double check, you only need a photograph of the device in question, right? Yes, please bring the photograph straight to me. I'm going to lend you a camera, too, but I'll need you to return it once you're back. Alright, I'll take plenty of selfies while I'm out and about. Alright, I'm counting on you. This is pretty clunky. How are you supposed to take a selfie with this? Well, yeah, if you want research quality, you need a hunk of machinery like this. Oh, by the way, I've already set the photo quartz. All you need to do is snap the shutter. Yeah, got it. Okay, one more time. You need to go to the top of Saffron Tower, take a picture of the device on the roof, return here with the photo, and turn the camera. That about the size of it? Perfect. One more thing. One more thing. What do you want, Uncle? No need for fancy or tricky angles. A single composition for the photo is best. This is for research purposes only, so just try and get the most head-on shot that you can. Okay, keep it simple. No problem. Can't wait to see the photo. We don't need no fucking Kincaids up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say something and I got sidetracked in my brain. Oh, I know what it was. I just got a text about my fucking... Uh, my freaking thing that was supposed to get delivered today. And I think it just didn't get delivered today. It's now expected to come tomorrow or the next day. I'm so fucking annoyed right now. <laughs> can you just get here so I can set up the damn new PC already? You're pissing me off, Amazon. I mean, I should just be grateful that I'm not having to wait till the first week of August, because that was the original estimated shipping date because it was back-ordered. But still, don't play with my emotions, Amazon. I'm trying to get this PC set up for my peeps so we can have some sick, non-laggy gameplay. You see this? You see this little fucking jump? Fucking frame skippage? Unacceptable. 
It's all your fault, Amazon. Alright, anyway. Let's go to the casino and bar. Can we gamble? Do you know Dean? I don't know what's thinking Dean. He has friends with his face. Oh. Dean is one of the ravens. Okay. Oh, I don't know, man. Some kids just never learn. Ooh. Recipes. I already know how to make that one, but this is new. I got the money. Let's do it. Do 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 do. Trails in the sky, 8K, 600 FPS. Your body is ready. No, I would settle for I don't know, 1080p, 60 FPS without any fucking frame skips, because I'm not even doing that right now, which is annoying as shit. And it's mas it's basically my CPU's fault, but a better GPU will also make it even more less of, or make it make it less of an issue. So I'm looking forward to that shit. Hopefully tomorrow. God, I hope it's tomorrow. Thank you for calling Amazon. Shoddy speaking. Now, how can I assist? Um, yeah, can you call the California bitches and tell them to get that shit delivered so I can put my shit together for my homies? You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Chop, chop now. <laughs> okay, so we actually can play play slots. Ooh. I don't have any medals, though. Hold on. Slots are old and rickety as all hell. They're not nearly as nice as modern ones. Which is totally why I lost. Yeah. Blame it on the sluts. We can play poker... Blackjack. Roulette. Were we able to play the games in the casino last time? I can't remember. Super mega relaxing. One medal is five Mira. I'm gonna buy like 20 medals. And we're gonna gamble, motherfuckers. We're gonna play the penny slots because I'm cheap as fuck. Oh, do I have to press it? Oh, I do. Oh. So it's kind of up to me. Very rarely do the slots in a video game let you actually do that. In that case, I'm gonna bet it all. I'm betting it all. I'm sorry for your inconvenience, sir. I see the shipment is still with Amazon Logistics. I will give them a call to find out what the issue is. Please hold for a few minutes. Thanks. Shoddy's got his fucking handbook out, ready to, you know, to customer service me from Amazon. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate it, Shoddy. Don't worry about it. Amazon's usually pretty good about it. It's just because the item I ordered, ordered was a back order thing. Yo, let's go. That was actually pretty good. I got ten medals out of it. I'm not going to do this anymore. Let's play something else. Alright, yo, we're going to bet on the roulette. Let's do it. You despise this place? You had to get a four of a kind in poker for an achievement? That does seem a little lame. But that's an achievement when you're just playing poker within another video game. I know how to roulette. I'm putting it all on... Uh, I don't know what I'm putting it on, actually. Um, took two hours? That's pretty lame. PC isn't the only thing they're lagging on. Uh, not sure what you mean there, frog. All right, I'm putting it all on 13 black. Let's go. I'm putting two chips on 13 black. I don't know why. It just sounds good. How do I get it to start? Oh, do I actually have to go up here and click start? Thirty-five black lame. I'm out. You sent paperback books to people, and they, it's been taking weeks to ship it to them. Oh, that's pretty lame. Are they new books or are they used books? Are you just selling through Amazon? All right, let's play around a blackjack. Here we go. Ooh. Place your bet. Place your bet. I'm gonna bet. I'm going hard. I'm betting 10. Booyah, 20. Uh, stand, right? Oh, he's gonna hit. Oh, he's gonna hit again. 
Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Because we just won, bitch. Raise the roof. Hey. We win against the house. Let's do it again. Ooh, seven is not a good not a good start. Lowering the bet. I'll bet like I'll bet like I'll bet like two, because you no. Know. Ooh, I got ten though. Not bad. I will hit on that. Ooh. Fifteen is ugly. Fifteen is ugly, yo. I feel like I have to hit. I bet I bet low. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, see. I was gonna lose if I hit, if I played 15. I would have lost anyways. It didn't matter. Okay, let's do kind of an ace. That's actually really good. I'm gonna bet more on this one. Not all of it, but I'm gonna bet more. I'll bet 15. Ooh, got that blackjack though. Hell yeah. I like it. Let it ride, baby. I'm winning. Why am I playing poker? Or, sorry, blackjack. We're playing an RPG game. I guess I just wanted to do something that wasn't talk for... Or read dialogue for a minute. This is That's literally why I'm playing this right now. <laughs> just to avoid reading for a minute. <laughs> uh, ooh, a two and a jack. Mm, I'll have to hit on that. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'll take the 20. No, wait, it's 19, not 20. I still gotta take it, though. I won. Barely, but I won. I'm actually having pretty good luck at this right now. I don't like an 8, though. I don't like an 8. I'll bet 10 on this one. 13 is ugly, but you gotta hit it. Ah! Killing me. Oh, he went over, too, so we're okay. I mean, I still busted, but I didn't lose. Alright, we'll, we'll stop there. All right, let's do one round of poker. I, I mean, I did all the other games at least once. Let's do poker as well. I'll just bet 10 right off the bat. Let's go. Uh, I don't like any of these cards. I literally don't like anything that I have here. <laughs> I like nothing about this hand. Like, it's not even... A, like, it's... A, I got small, the first three numbers of a straight. Ah, this is an ugly first hand. Okay, I'm just going to take the 10 and then and then change the rest out. I don't like any of this. That really wasn't any better. Right, let's try that again. One more, one more hand, because that was an ugly first hand. Again, I don't care for this hand either. I'll keep the queen and the ace. I like Texas Hold'em better. I played this kind of poker a lot growing up when I was a kid, but ever since I learned what Texas Hold'em was when I got a little older, I was like, man, this is way better. It's more fun. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, regular poker sucks. I'm out. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. It's a fun little diversion. We actually get to gamble and have some fun. That was cool. Alright. That's the guild. This is the Orbital Factory. Okay, I'm just kind of re-orienting uh, myself. Here's the duty-free shop or whatever. I talked a lot. I know you gotta get four of a kind on that. That's pretty rough. You gotta get really lucky. You basically just have to, have to get super lucky and get like three of a kind on a first on a first deal. Because if you don't get three of a kind on a first deal, you're almost never gonna get a four of a kind. Okay, do I need any of this stuff? I did use a lot of my healing items when I was in that last or that first dungeon, rather. The first couple dungeons. Um, hmm. Alright, these are ingredients. And some ingredients are expensive, man. I ain't got no money yet. Hmm. I'm gonna hold off on buying any items right now. 
Wait till I get a little more money to, to burn. I use a lot of money on equipment and stuff already. Uh, landing port area. Okay. Oh, this is the airship area. We don't need to go here. I need to cross the other bridge to the other side where the warehouse district's at. That's where I need to go. This way. Yes, Portos. Pick Portos because a vote for Portos is a vote for Port Port uh, Port uh, Portusan, Porta Portasan. Even though my husband's a mayoral candidate, he's still not got no guts. He's always saying he's got the goods for the job. I mean, this isn't time for winning. His supporters are watching. He's got the goods. Is that what he tells you when you're when you two are alone? That he's got the goods. Hey, wifey, I got the goods. Want to take a gander at the goods? And she's like, no. Your goods disgust me. The fact that you even refer to them as goods is abhorrent. Both of them are quite the man. I'm sure the person who took their pictures of her is very skilled. Very skilled. Brother's out playing. He's not playing with me. Well, maybe you're annoying. Really, I just can't believe that boy. How long does he intend to stay locked up in his room? In his oom? Probably forever. Okay. Laysai. Laysai? Laysai. You like Blackjack because it's simple and easy to remember the rules. Don't like poker because of all the things you need to remember. Poker's fine. I just don't like regular poker anymore. Ever since I learned, like I said, what Texas Hold'em poker is... I feel like uh, that's just more fun because you're playing against the house in that case and not just fucking hoping that you get a fucking it's like regular poker reminds me of those dang those like handheld poker like electronic handheld poker things I used to play with those all the time when I was a kid like I probably still have one I wonder if I replaced the battery if that shit battery that's if that shit still works maybe I should hit the other side of the bridge yeah Nobody fucking walks around in a port, dude. Blackjack is nice and easy, but not fun after a few games. I also agree. <sighs> I'm a fisherman, you know. If you lose the harbor, I'm in big trouble. I'm wishing Portos all the best. Ooh, sea breeze soup. Don't mind if I do. Because that's a recipe. I'm running real low on money now that I bought that shit. Ooh, and he also has Prime Salmon Grill. You know I gotta buy it. You know I had to do it to him. Hey there, welcome to the office for Porto Selection Campaign. Porto's been in the chat, so damn it if he ain't a real man to see. We need all the votes we can get, and pull back here. Man, oh man, to be honest, I'm still not sure what it had to take to run for mayor, but with everyone pushing me to do well... Huh. I'm gonna get the selection all I got. Give me the selection all I got. <laughs> Boss Portos is busy with the election. I'm taking over running the harbor in his place for now. What a nice guy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I want a fish. Let's, oh, I guess we're going the right way. Ah, uh, is that you, Lloyd? Oh, this is the fishing guy. Speaking of fishing. Oh, it's you guys. How about it? Already tried out your rod? Not yet. I had some places I needed to go. I see, I see. Well then, want to check out a spot nearby? I know a really great location. Hell yeah. Really? Yes, please. Hey, weren't we going to ask the ravens about the ghost? Uh, of course, of course we were. But we can make a short stop, right? Please? Uh, fine. Hurry up and get it over with. <laughs> no worries. It won't take that much time. Let me show you. Follow me. Yeah! I'm sure it's where the ripples in the water are. Indeed. This is the spot you were talking about? <laughs> Don't be yawning, boy. 
look at the surface of the water. I see it. See, there's a ripple in the water, right? That's a sign you can pull up a fish here. You should be able to find them in most bodies of water, so be sure to keep it out for your, on your travels. Okay, so basically you just pay attention to the surface of the water. Got it. Now enough about how to find fishing spots. Let me give you this. Poly... Polychate? Polychite? Polychite? Chate? Uh, this is bait. It's not sold in stores, so you'll have to find it on your own. Drop by monsters. Okay, so we'll probably have plenty of it as, as we go. That's good to hear. And that's about it. You'll have to find out the rest by trying stuff. Yeah, you got it. Thanks for all the help, bro. Right. Well then, catch you later. Smell you later. Hell yeah, dude, I want to try out my rod. Or something like that. Alright, I bet I could fish here. Spare the rod, hook, line, and sinker. I guess that means we're going fishing. Progress rod with polyshite. We're doing it. Ooh, I don't remember how to do this. I thought you were supposed to just click it when the exclamation point pops up. Yeah, like right when it pops up. The timing thing. I got a great blackfish. 42 reg reggae in length. Reesh. Ooh, and 20 sepith. Now that makes it worth it. Kasago! Two gummy eyeballs. Alright. You can actually fish with the Kasago. Nice. Not here, but maybe somewhere else. Fishing's pretty straightforward in this game. Gold angelfish, that looks fancy. Got some space sepith. Let's just use up all of my bait, because why not? I'll get more as I fight more monsters later. Might as well use up what I have while I'm fishing, you know? Alright, four out of five ain't bad. We got another gold angelfish with more space sepith within him. That's cool. Alright, well that was fruitful. Caught some fish, got some stuff. Happy about it. Also, what's up, Dragon? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Right, these doors were locked last time, too, I believe. Is there anything over here? Oh, yeah, there's more over there. Which I think there's nothing over here, is the point. Okay. You went a bit longer on your stream? I mean, that's fine, Dragon. I saw you were flying around in your little plane. I didn't want to watch too much. Yo, it's Dean. Ah, man, I've been feeling worn out lately. We've been working like dogs and training, but it still don't feel like we're getting any stronger. I don't get why we're having trouble with random fucking monsters on the road. Don't you dare say the word fucking ever again. Uh, it isn't just us, though. Everyone's just saying the monsters are getting really dangerous lately. And, like, everyone's gotten a couple times more powerful than it used to be. It's freaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. How about we have a night on the town? First one we've had in a while. We can hit up the Levantar in the North Block. How's about that? Oh, that place with the remodeled second floor has a casino now? Oh, yeah, that sounds great, especially since I hear the dealers are hot chicks. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can show them my strength at poker, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> poker? Poke her? Get it? Ha! Huh? Her, you know, mighty thrust? Get it? Ha! Huh? Uh, never mind. Now that's a plan. Karn is out of town, so if we want to cut bit loose a bit, now's the time. Do you seriously think you can get away with that? Oh, here's Agate coming in to criticize everything. Agate? Tch. What the hell is this? I hear all about how you've improved, and then when I show up you guys are acting like this? Haha, <laughs> that was just a joke, man, tell totally a joke. 
Hey, wait, isn't that... That's the newbie bracer as well. Hey guys, it's been a while. We last met at the tournament, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, man, we watched from the stands after our fight all the way to the finals. You were incredible. I've fallen for you all over again, Hart. <laughs> um, thanks? Anyway, we're here for a reason. Guild business. Is the guy who saw White Shadow here today? White Shadow? You mean... Yeah, they must mean that. You know what I'm talking about, then. So spit it out already. Stop wasting our time. It's valuable. You're on the clock. I'll bill you later. Wait just one damn minute. Where do you get off making demands like that? Huh? You're pissing me off. You abandon us, leave us in the dust, and become a bracer of all things? Fucking law whore. And then you come back to us only when it's convenient for you and expect us to tell you whatever? Well, you can just piss right off. Yeah, you heard the man. Yeah, Rocco! <laughs> You're a prideful son of a gun, Rocco. Same as ever. What do you want me to do then, huh? Get down on the ground and beg? You, you gotta fight us, uh, here and now. Oh, God, okay. Whoa, 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 why? Dude, dude, calm down! <laughs> Shut it, we need to settle this. You win, we'll tell you what you want to know. If we win, you don't get to act like the puffed up kingfish no mo. Ha! <laughs> Suits me just fine. Let's just see how tough you guys have gotten. Alright, you three. Come get some! Oh man, oh man, why things have to turn out like this? Hey, we get to fight Estelle again, hard! <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's really the point here. Okay then, don't expect me to hold back. Get blip blap blue bidet blaps. Oh boy, here we go. Funky said that almost like Genocide Jill in Don and Roma. It's probably where I got it from. Fucking Genocide Jill, that bitch is crazy. Okay, still. By the way, this music. Top notch. Top notch. Oh, why? Um, oh, I have to build up CP. Sorry, I was thinking I had no EP. I'm like, what? Um, I did not check my, uh, quartz at all, so I, I should probably do that. I should probably do that, I'm saying. Alright, he's got some wind technicals, fire technicals. Ooh, he even has an E8, E, 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 O, E, E, E. Don't let me catch you slacking again, okay. As long as you keep them all in, ah. Uh... Well, there goes that. There goes that caveat. And I didn't do that much damage, anyways. What are you trying to shake down? Ooh, defensive down, huh? I should have done. Oh, wait, I didn't have any CP. I was say, I should have done the morale move, but yeah. Anyway, I wasn't making fun of, of Ace Combat earlier there, Shoddy, by the way. I was just saying flying around in your little plane because it's Dragon. That's all. But no, personally I don't really have that much interest in playing it's like Ace Combat style flying simulator type games. So that's the only reason I was like talking shit on it or whatever. That's all. This game has one of my favorite battle themes ever. Oh, dude. I don't know if it was the boss track or not, but the track... I, if I remember correctly, the music they were playing when I was fighting against all three of the Jaegers, quote-unquote, you know, when each of the... Every time I was fighting one of the Bracers who were dressed up as the Jaegers, I believe the music that was playing during those fights um, was one of the best fucking battle themes I don't know, if, probably that I've ever heard. It's It fucking slapped hard. It was very, very good. I was a huge fan of the song. Right off, right when I heard it, I just like stopped to listen to it. I didn't even play the game for a minute, <laughs> which is so good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give him the hurricane. Give him the cane. Get some. Oh come on, Agate! Aren't you supposed to be better than that? Uh oh. I let Estelle get a little surrounded there. Probably wasn't the wisest decision. 
Okay, what are his moves? Spiral Edge. AoE is good. There we go. Now we're looking better. All right, I'm gonna do a little heal action right now. I'm gonna tear up a little bit. Gotta remember the fast forward button. Ow. Um, okay. Can we chain attack one of these guys? Can't, because Agate's not close enough, I guess. Oh no, Agate doesn't have 30 CP, that's why. I guess I'll just do Hurricane. I don't remember hearing this battle theme in the first prologue part of the game. I think this is the first time we've heard this theme. It's very good. I don't know if this is a boss theme or just a battle theme, but I love it. Um, this is a line attack. Hmm. I guess I'll stick to the AoE. I like the knockback on that. It keeps them spread out a little bit. So they can't jump everybody, like one character all at once. You're sorry that you missed out on a lot of great games like that, like this, Frog? I mean, you didn't really miss out on this game. You can still, well... I guess I'll take that back, because you, like you said, you're blind. Um, yeah. I guess there's not really much you could do about something that's heavy on the dialogue. You have to read it. You have to have somebody read it to you, or have some other app that, or, you know, some kind of app that reads all the dialogue. Or you could just listen to me read it all. I'm probably one of the few people out there who Let's Plays these games and actually reads all the fucking main dialogue. I know I'm skipping a lot of the NPC dialogue, but it's not that important. Um, man, what do I want to do here? Morale? Guys, come on! Come on! You guys waste a lot of time yelling at each other. No! He HP healed everything! No! How did he heal all of it? That's annoying. Oh, I don't want that. I do great with the dialogue. Thanks for thanks thanks for thinking so, Frog. Also, thank you for the nine bits. As I mentioned before, with this playthrough, I don't have notifications turned on, so anytime somebody donates or resubs or any of that stuff, I gotta call it out when it pops up. But thank you, yes, for the nine bits, sir. I don't really have any good AoE magic, so I have to just bop these guys normally. The HP heal was a turn bonus? Well, that was a lot of HP, dude. He got all his HP back. That seems a little fucking unfair. I need to get rid of one of these fucks. I gotta pay attention to the turn bonus thing, though. So, like, right now, she has the critical bonus, but she's also paralyzed, right? That's fucking annoying. Although, I think that just means she can't do a regular attack, but she can do arts. Burn him. She's not gonna get the critical, though. I'll take that, though. That's good stuff. Alright. Maybe we can actually kill a motherfucker off right here. It would be nice. One down, alright. Wait, what? You can't revive him like this! Oh my god, I am disliking this battle more and more already. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Shit. So I gotta take this fucker out big time, okay. Fucker's like all his HP back, so we gotta take out. I didn't realize he was literally like healing them completely and he was gonna be able to revive them. That's a. It's not very cool, sir. I don't appreciate that. Can I.
Can I? Yeah, I can get rid of that. Ooh, no mercy. Like Captain Insano, he's got no mercy. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, that'll, that'll do. Hey, it's Morrow, the birthday girl. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. How has your birthday been today? Hmm. I need to build my CP a bit. Um, I guess I'll just thwack this guy because I can. Don't you underestimate me! Oh, I will. This battle is just getting prolonged. These guys are a-holes. It's been alright. Ready to wind down and have to be a lazy piece of shit the rest of the night. That's all we can ever aspire to. Being lazy pieces of shit as much as we possibly can. Dude! I'm getting annoyed now. You're taking way too long to die. <laughs> Pissing me off, good sir. Get, I'm, 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 I'm getting a little miffed. I have to admit, I'm getting a little miffed right now. A little perturbed. A little angerified. These two fuckers over here just blowing each other in the corner. They need to stop that shit. I need to draw them out by killing this other guy off. Stop getting the <laughs> HP heal! How come their HP heal is so ridiculous? I hate it. Oh my god, they're getting so much HP back in one heal. So frustrating. Prolonging this bullshit. <sighs> God damn it. They need to come over here so I can actually kill them. That's the problem right now. I need to build up my CP more. Fast forward through all this shit. Hurry up. Focus it on green hair, dude, because he's the only one prolonging this. Eesh. That critical hit move is not. No bueno. No bueno. Do a little flame smash action, and hopefully, all right. Green boy is down. Fuck. This HP heal is absurd, though. It's really pissing me off. Are you fucking kidding me with this? Stay the fuck down, you piece of garbage. These guys are the worst. Like, seriously, though, every time one of them goes down, he's like, Yo, I got you! Pull your pants down! I'll revive you! <laughs> this piece of shit. It's fucking annoying as hell. Hey, 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 hey. I'm getting rid of this green guy again, I don't care. I thought it was just the green guy who was the healer or something, but no, that's not the case. 
ugly day. Um, I must break you. We're down to just the one. Maybe he'll stop reviving. Yo, let's hit him with that final break, though. Actually, let's just do the beatdown. Does it matter? It's just one guy? I think it doesn't matter. What? Not as much damage as I was hoping for. You could not want to lose all you want. You're going to lose. It's inevitable, bitch. Give up. Submit. Surrender. You will not win. Ugh. What a fight. That was ridiculous. But what, I was persistent enough, and so were they. What a fight. Jesus. Ugh, you guys are strong. I give, I give. If I had a white flag, I'd be waving it. Damn. Huh. <laughs> Guess it wasn't total BS that you guys were in the tournament. You still aren't putting enough into it, though. Even so, you guys are, like, really good for civilians. Like, really, really good. Why not stop wasting your time here and become bracers? What? Bracers? Us? No way! Hey, the kill doesn't discriminate. Agate became a bracer, and so did I, and I started out as a clueless kid. You guys should be able to do it, no problem. Don't make promises you can't keep. A bracer's more than just hired muscle. There's a lot of jobs that need more than just mindless fighting. You should know that well enough yourself. Well, yeah, but even so... Yeah, that's right. Fighting is just about the only thing we're good at. Should have known nothing would be that simple. Anyway, the deal's a deal. I'll tell you what you want to know. Alright, let's hear it. Like we said, we're looking for the guy who saw a white shadow. We heard that one of you saw it. Yeah, someone did. He ain't here today, but you're looking for Belden. He joined about a year ago, uh, a year ago, long after Agate left. You might have seen him before, though, Agate. Oh yeah, I think I did. We talked a bit when I came by on that last case. Belden hasn't been by since seeing that thing, actually. I heard a few people say he's stuck in bed from the shock of seeing a ghost. What? Do you, do you mean he, he was cursed, doomed to die, and suffer forever? I don't know about that, but I do know he was damn scared. He's always been sort of a spineless rich kid, though. So what's he doing pretending to be a punk if he's got a nice family? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll hit him up for details. Where's his kid live? It's a big place to the right of the mayor's mansion. Some old fart named Norman owns the joint. Belden's his eldest son. To the right of the mayor's mansion. Got it. Thanks for your help, guys. Okay, now we know where to go. Let's go meet this Belden dude. Sounds good. See you guys. Don't get any crap just because you're bored. Ah, shut up. You guys keep it up and stop by some time. Hopefully without beating us up next time. Keep up the good work, Estelle. Hard. Yeah, okay. Okay. Also, thank you for the seven bits, Tara. I appreciate it. There were the victory bits for that battle. I appreciate it. Alright. I don't really know why I'm talking to these guys. I really don't care what they have to say. I really don't care what they have to say. So, Belden. We already talked to that guy. He was at his house. He was the guy that wouldn't talk to us. He was all like, dot, 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 dot. So, I guess we're going to go talk to him and he'll actually speak up now. I think that's this house, right? Uh, no, this is not. This isn't the one. No. Not the one. Pretty sure this is the mayor's house, so it must be this one. Yeah, here we go. Um, is this that Belden dude's home? Just to the right of the mayor's mansion. Looks like the place. Oh, welcome. I'm sorry, but my husband isn't home at the moment. He's busy at the hotel. I would like... I'd ask that you go see him there. Huh? Uh, we're not actually here to see your husband, ma'am. We were hoping we could speak with Belden. 
Oh, goodness, you're here for Belden? I'm sorry, I thought you were here on election business. Election? Uh, wait, ma'am, is your husband... Yes, my husband is Norman, one of the mayoral candidates. He's using the top floor of the hotel as his election headquarters, you see. His supporters are doing whatever it is people working on for an election do up there. You know, blow him. Or, yeah. Or something, you know. Or maybe see the way around. Maybe he's blowing them for votes. That actually sounds more accurate. Anyway, okay, I see. Oh, uh, we're from the Bracer Guild, actually. We kind of wanted to ask your son some questions, if that's okay. The Bracer Guild? Oh no, has Belden done something wrong? No, ma'am, nothing like that. We believe he may have witnessed something strange, though. We'd like to ask him some questions, if you'll let us. Something strange? Uh, he didn't tell you about what he saw, ma'am? I'm afraid not. I'm happy to have him home for the first time in ages, but he's barely spoken to me since he got back. And my husband's time is so dominated by the election that he won't even talk to his son. I see. Hmm, do you mind if we talk to Belden, ma'am? He's got some problems. We could at least talk, help him, or let him talk about them. That sounds like a great idea. Please, go ahead. Belden's room is on the second floor. Alright, kid. Spill your guts. <sighs> uh, excuse me, uh, can we talk to you for a sec? What the hell am I doing? I came running back home just because Dad ain't here? How pathetic. Hey! Look at people when they're talking to you, boy! Huh? Ah! Uh, who are you guys? Come on, Belden. Don't tell me you don't know me by reputation, at least. What? <laughs> Agate! What are you doing in my house? I have some questions for you, and your old lady let us in. Got some time? Uh, I guess. What do you want to ask? Well, we heard you saw a white shadow recently. We were wondering if you'd mind telling us about it. Oh, oh, that. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it, to be honest. Uh, anytime I remember too much about it, I just get scared all over again. The heck is this? You're Raven. Man up. Talk already. Uh, I'll talk. I'll talk. Gate, stop scaring the poor kid. He doesn't need to wet himself. Hey, he's talking, right? Come on, details. Make with him. Okay, okay. I was living in the warehouse where the crew hangs out until about a week ago. I usually only come back here for food, you see. I slept over there, you know, so I could chill with my bros. You've got to be kidding me. How in the name of the goddess could you not want to live in a big comfy house like this? Although, didn't you used to live like that too, Agate? Don't change the subject. So you were with the crew. What happened? Like I said, it was like a week ago. The crew was all boozed up and asleep, but I woke up for some reason and thought I'd go outside and feel the night air, you know? And then I saw it. You mean the white shadow? Yeah, a white shadow floating up in the air. It was like some kind of old-fashioned get-up, cape and all. And it was dancing in the air. <laughs> That's rather specific. Sure you weren't just drunk, tired, and seeing things? Nah, no way. This scared me right out of being drunk, and I tried to scream, but couldn't even do that. After the thing flew off to the northeast, I ran into the warehouse yelling and woke everyone up. That just got me a punch from Rocco, though. Huh. Okay, I see. So when did this happen? Do you remember? I guess around 2 in the morning? Uh, now I remember the whole thing. I came home and tried to forget all that. Now I get why you ran home. You just didn't want to sleep in some place where you'd seen something scary. You're a failure of a punk, you know that? You'd be better off just quitting the Ravens and staying home. Uh, yeah, I know I'm not cut out for it, but, well, I just can't face my dad. He's busy with the election and not home much, and that's why I came back, but uh, once the election's over, I'll have to face him one way or another. And if he manages to win, my life will get even more restrictive. So basically, you're just running away from something you don't like. Well... Yeah, and you damn well know it, too. The answer, genius, is to find your own answer. Stop relying on other people. I'll tell your old lady the same thing. Agate? We're done here. Estelle, let's go. Right. Belden, thanks for talking to us. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds real enthused about it. <laughs> Good times. Do I really have to talk to his old lady, a.k.a. his mother? Uh, he's been talking to the 
Kalish and come back up. Yeah, that's pretty much what you said earlier. Alright, well that was first uh, account accounted for. Can we now leave town? We can. Alright.